Now that we got that cleaned up, we'll go ahead and move on over to our Corona QSB side. Now our Corona QSB goes right over here underneath the uh, USB ports and Wi-Fi slot and all that right next to the south bridge. And this little bad boy will sit right in here. So, come in a little bit tighter so you can see what I'm doing. You got this row of solder points and this row of solder points. And these are for your NAND read and write. Uh, you know what I should do before I do this? Because it gets more difficult afterwards. With the Corona, if your council does not have any components in here, here, or here, you want to do a little bridge there. Basically, I'm going to take a little bit of flux just a teeny little bit here it doesn't take much I tend to go too heavy with my flux now this is for radar and opening up the glitch possibility and we're gonna just put a little bead of solder across each of these contact points I've got my Temperature turned up a little bit too high here. Dial it down a little bit. Otherwise, the iron's so hot, it just keeps the keeps pulling the solder back up off the board. If you have too much trouble doing this, you can always use a little jumper, uh, be it a, a piece of wire or maybe a, a leg off of one of the caps and just make your own little jumper and attach it there. Oh, here I paused the video and forgot to unpause it. I went ahead and got that one there installed. Now we'll move over to the next one. I'm going to have to rotate the board for this one. As you can see, as you can see, I got the little jumper right across there. And these points are all right under where the QSB goes. Clean my tip up a little. people struggle with these and at the moment I'm struggling too. I don't normally struggle with these points and it's probably due to my iron. Every time I rotate the board too I have a hard time figuring out where the heck the part points are. You do want to be careful when you're doing this not to accidentally float off any of the other components. I'll do my best not to demonstrate. I may possibly still have my iron just a little bit too hot. That 
got something stuck on that tip of my iron here. people are going to struggle with that, just like I just did. And I've been doing this for years. Now that we got all three of those bridges made, we'll go ahead and clean up the area again. Take care of it while it's fresh. that was on my iron uh, maybe a piece of my sponge okay now we'll pan out again and rotate this board back around okay so again, we're, we're still in this area. Now we're gonna go ahead and fix our QSB into place. Lining up all the, all the contact points. And it's got adhesive pads, so once you get it lined up, you can just kind of press it down into place. Like so. Oh, I'm so sick of being sick. Now, I'm coming a little tight again here. A little bit too much. As you can see, we got several different solder points here that we got to work with. What I'm going to do is go ahead and I have to turn my iron temperature back up. There's always one pad on here that I gotta crank it up a little higher to be able to work with. Which is in part why I why I just leave my iron temperature high to begin with. We're gonna go through here and just paint a little flex paste on the, all the contact points. Again, it doesn't take a whole lot. I always get a little excessive. This stuff is incredibly important to use. A lot of people will be like, oh, I don't ever use it. And they end up with cold solder joints, pulling pads, damaging the board. Like I said, better safe than sorry. Nothing worse than pulling a motherboard out of a case for the first time and then screwing it up. Now that we got flex paste on all of those, we're going to go ahead and start on this side. I'm going to come in at an angle. That way I'm heating both the motherboard and the QSB at the same time. And just apply a little bit of solder there. Now I'm going to rotate the board so that I can do the other side. This is the pad that always gives me trouble. And we'll rotate again. We'll come in and get all these contact points done. rotation after this and do the other side. I'm not happy with the way that one turned out. I'm 
You want to make sure that your solder flows down into the motherboard properly. And the final rotation. So that we we can hit the other side of the QSB now. There we have it. We got our Corona QSB installed. And as always, once completed, go ahead and take some rubbing alcohol. Clean up all these contact points. Clean all the flux residue off. When you do go out and get your flex flex base, make sure you get it from an electronic store, not a hardware store, because hardware stores sell multiple types of flex base. And if you get the wrong type, chances are it's plumber's flux. And I've had the joy of experiencing that. I had a guy send in his counsel after he used plumber's flux. Plumber's Flux is incredibly conductive and it shorted everything out that it came in contact with. It took me forever to get all that crap off the board and go through and fix everything. It took me even longer to figure out what the heck the problem was to begin with because his soldering was clean. Catch this quick. There we go.